Now you're private. Hey, you what? Yeah, I've raked the leave, love. I did it this afternoon. What do you mean they've blown all over the place again? Bloody hell. Yeah, what a waste of time that were. Oh, cranky. Shall I go rake him again? Yeah, oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Hey, up, Ravers. Welcome to Ray Ruttles Race Night. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the dining room for the Four Seasons Tokal Landscaping Stakes. Uh, now, Four Seasons Tokal Landscaping, they ain't coming and doing my garden tomorrow, no. Uh, we've got so, some other blokes coming to do my garden. It is uh, giving us a spray, spraying uh, an autumn feed on the lawn. Uh, so I've had to rake off the leaves. But it sounds like the sodding wind has blown the leaves all over blooming lawn again. So I've got to set my alarm early tomorrow morning and rake the blooming things back up again. Bloody hell. Now, uh, the Four Seasons Total Landscaping Stakes, that was what we called the, the race this time last year. Uh, why do we call it that? I can't remember now. Uh, I don't know what that were all about. Uh, and road, the Four Seasons Total Landscaping Stakes will be contested over the distance of 3 feet 11 inches and the going is firm. And there's five runners. So, for the gate draw tonight, who do we have in gate one? Oh, Jarm and Dallas Page, ridden by Deke. I thought you were a good egg, but no, he's a baddie. He was a baddie, he's a baddie all along. Look at him, totally remorseless after his heinous act where he rammed uh, Dallas Green right up the botty the other week. Disgraceful. Should have been banned or had a points deduction or both, but uh, the rules uh, prevent me from doing that to him. But, uh, yeah, boo him, boo, boo, get him off, get him off. Yeah, in gate two, it's Steed, ridden by Mrs Peel. Got a second place last week. Uh, now, I've got to confess, I made the balls up with the league table last week. I'll talk about that later, but n needless to say, she's in third place, is Mrs Peel, uh, on Steed. Apologies for my balls up. Uh, because in gate three, we've got Dallas Green, ridden by Dodd. And unfortunately, I'm very sorry about this Dallas Green. I, I mistakenly popped you up to third. You weren't in third, you're actually in fourth. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm in such a rush with the Ruttle family fireworks that uh, I just rushed everything last week and made her heart balls up. Sorry, sorry. Uh, gate four, blue movie. Ugh. Written by my lad Dino. Uh, he's a bit of a disappointment to me, Dino. Come on, son, book your ideas up. You're languishing down on the at table. But it's not so much that, it's just uh, the performances are dreadful. Just riding all over the place. You look like you've been drinking every week. Sort it out, will we, your son? Thank you. And finishing off the lineup in gate five is Rip, ridden by Benny Hill. Properly dropped off the paces, Rip, uh, down at bottom half at table. Will he do anything to arrest that decline today? Let's uh, find out in a bit. Okie do, the odds. Well, Darman, Dallas, Page and Rip down at 41. Uh, out of form in recent weeks, Empire. Dallas Green's at 72, but your favourite is Steed at 3 to 1. Uh, oh, and let's not forget Blue Movie, 6 to 1. But uh, yeah, he'll be all over at shop again. Uh, remember, these odds are just for information purposes, just help you pick a winner. Gamble responsibly. Sounds like I've made the balls up gambling by doing the leaf raking this afternoon. i just blown all over the shop again. I'm going to have to rake the bloody things up tomorrow morning before the gardener comes. Blimey, eh? Now, last week, we had a lot of carnage on the course, didn't we? Because, <laughs> I can't even say it. Bockle of beer went down. <laughs> Bockle of beer went down. But then Blue Movie went down and all. Yeah, and he obstructed all white on the night. And couldn't get, she couldn't get past him. Couldn't get a finish, that might cost him a shake down at the end of the season. But Ickle Ray on the scallop, Pumpernell got the win, and Steed came in second for a valuable two points. Will there be as much carnage on the track tonight? Let's get to the starting gates and find out. Yeah, and they're on the starters on days. Yeah, they're off. And out they go, and Rip gets a flyer on this near side, ahead of all the other runners. But Blue Movie's looking alright as well. 
Blue Movie, in fact, takes the leaders are over the stool. It's Blue Movie, but he's gone down. Oh, no. It's Diamond Dallas Page who's in the lead now from Rip on this day side. With Dallas Green in third. Diamond Dallas Page is looking for the win. And is he going to hold on? Oh. I think he just about held on there, but that were very tight at the death. And it looked like it was going to be a close one right from the start because they all got a decent start out at Gates. Rip on this near side in particular, and also Blue Move It, who were over the stall superbly. We didn't see any silly riding from him today, so that's a, a big plus. Uh, but notice here as Rip tries to avoid the toothpaste splat, but he's unable to because Blue Move is owed in his line. But that Jocelyn might just have put Blue Move off balance because down he goes on Ruttles Hook. And Diamond Dallas Page gets the front. And this is where Rip starts to change his angle. He's cutting right across to try and pre uh, pressure these other two riders. But Diamond Dallas Page looks like he might have held on for win. Dallas Green just catches the gimme's teeth, as does DDP. But I think DDP does enough to hold on. And it looks like Rip's in second. Dallas Green gets third. So, confirmation of the results of the Dining Room 706 and the Four Seasons Total Landscaping Stakes. And first were Diamond Dallas Page, the baddie. Boo him. Boo. Boo. Uh, but yeah, he's made a, a return to the winner's enclosure for only the second time this season. Can't remember last time he won it, were ages ago. Second were Rip. He'll be grateful of them points. Hasn't had any for a bit. And third were Dallas Green. All five ran who didn't finish and that was a shame because Blue Movie were looking very good they were out in front they were taking it seriously this week looking very strong but clattered into Ruttles Hook and down he went and Steed had a nightmare with the fences and all and by the time I stopped waggling Steed hadn't finished but it was Diamond Dallas Page showing his determination the dastardly bleeder as he held on for the win despite immense pressure from Rip and Dallas Green as well but what a close finish that was. Thrilling stuff. So what has that done to the season standings? Well, buckle a bit, all white on the night. They ain't raced tonight. So they're in one and two respectively on 29 and 23. But as I said earlier, I made a balls up with the table last week. Uh, and actually, I, I give Dallas Green more points than she should have had. So now we've got Steed in third on 22. But Dallas Green is in fourth, also on 22. Uh, but just by virtue of the comeback roll. Apologies to the riders involved. Uh, no, didn't mean to make a balls up, I was just in a rush. Uh, Pumpernel's in fifth on 20. I think I got his score wrong and all last week. And then down in bottom half, Diamond Dallas Page is crawling up the table. He's now on 19 points, his second win of the season. Rip's also moved up a bit. He's up to 7th on 18. Don't it, Yellow Snow is also on 18 in the 8th uh, place by virtue of the countback rule. Village Green Preservation Society is in 9th on 15, but Blue Movie is stuck on the body on 11. Shame, we were looking good tonight. Looked like we were checking it seriously, but it weren't to be. So, come and join us in the dining room next Sunday, November the 21st, 7 o'clock for the gate door. And we'll see if Bockle and Bear extends his lead. Or will he buckle it again and fall over? Who knows? And in the meantime, you get online, rayruttle.com forward slash race night. Check out the season standings. They're correct on there. I mean, they're correct on here now, I know. But, you know, that's the thing about the website. I were able to make sure they were correct after my balls up uh, live last week. Uh, schedules on there and all and sponsorship information as well uh, and why not get in touch will we hear from Deaky Lad after his win today will he be gloating probably will be because he's a baddie boo boo uh, Dallas Green third place will Doddy be annoyed with me because I've got the scores wrong quite rightly if that's the case and remember to poke the like button give it a good poke Deaky Lad should be poking it tonight share the excitement to race night with your mates and subscribe to my channel if you ain't already. And I will see you a lot next week. Okie do. Right, love, give us the alarm clock. Let's set it for... Oh, bloody hell, half six. Half six. Bloody hell.